Welcome back. So today we're going to go through chapter three of my book, Make Art with Python. And in this chapter, we focus on, first of all, installing Pygame and then drawing pixels to the screen. So this is gonna be our first real program from scratch where we're going to create a window first and then we're going to draw a single pixel and then we're gonna create a for loop and we're gonna draw lines across the screen, the screen and by the end of it, we'll have an understanding for where things on the screen are and how to draw to it. At the end, there will be a little bit of a challenge that I created to see if you can make your own lines on the screen. So with that, let's get started. We'll continue from where we left off in chapter two. Uh, I've still got Visual Studio Code open. Uh, just let's check and see if our if we're still in the right directory. Again, that command to see your work current directory is called pwd. And it looks like we're in that development directory still. Uh, if I hit ls, you can see we still have just our turtle program that we wrote earlier. So now let's um, install pygame. So we do pip3 install pygame. And so Pygame was installed. We can again verify this by doing Python 3, right? And then an import Pygame. And so if there wasn't a Pygame there, we would have gotten an error message. So let's try import Pygame 1. You would get this uh, sort of an error where it says no module name whatever. It would be no module name Pygame. But because we didn't get that error, we successfully imported Pygame. That means it's installed correctly on our system. So now that we get installed correctly, let's clear the screen and let's take another route. Um, you saw before when we created a new file in Visual Studio Code, we would get a blank new file. We'd have to then find a directory to save that file out to and then name it.py before we could actually get our autocomplete. Um, there's this command built into Linux and Mac OS called touch. And so if I touch first program.py, I do ls again, you're going to see it creates an empty new file for us um, called first program.py. So now we can go file open, first program.py shows right up, and then now we have our environment ready. So the first thing we're going to do, as we said, is import pygame, right? This is the library that's gonna allow us to draw to the screen. Um, Pygame is a, a library in general meant for building programs and especially games um, in, in Python. So it allows you to draw uh, shapes, graphics, images, and it's what we use throughout the book to teach programming in more of a visual way. So let's import Pygame. And then the next thing we'll do is, since we're gonna be drawing a single pixel at, the time, at a time, we're going to need to import this um, pygame.gfx draw. Now, normally, you don't need to import things underneath something, but pygame by default does not import gfx draw. Um, so we have to do this, otherwise the program wouldn't allow us to draw pixel by pixel, since it's kind of a rare thing that you would do. All right, so. Next thing we do is we initialize pygame. And the way we do that is with a pygame.init. Now you remember from calling our function earlier, adding these parentheses to the end of the, the function tells it to be called on a single line. So next we're going to create a screen width and variable and set it to be 800. A screen height variable, set that also to be 800. And then we're going to create a new screen out of those values. So we do pygame.display.setMode, right? And then we do our open parentheses to call the function. But we're going to pass it a tuple of our screen width and our screen <laughs> height. Okay. So just, just so you can kind of see this, let me hit enter here. So we have a parentheses, right? An open and closed parentheses inside of the external parentheses, right? So this is telling um, Python to call pygame.display.setMode with this tuple being sent as the variable passed, okay? 
And so pygame.display.setMode is going to create our actual screen for us. So this function is telling pygame, hey, we want you to create a window on our operating system with these dimensions. So it's going to be 800 by 800, and it's going to be a square window. All right. And this screen variable, right, is set to be that display of 800 by 800. So next, let's create a variable called white. And so white is going to be a tuple, again, 255, 255, and 255. Let's create black. And black is going to be a tuple, again, of 0, 0, and 0. So these tuples, where do they come from? The first value in each of these tuples is red. So the red value is going to be 255, which is the maximum in Pygame. Um, 255 is going to be the green, which again is the maximum. And blue is going to be 255. So the combination of red, green, and blue lights is what is going to give us a perfect white on our screen. And then a zero value of red, green, and blue is going to give us our blacks. Um, Again, colors on a screen are additive. They're not like paints. So you're mixing the colors, the light colors of red, green, and blue in order to create white. A um, Little bit different from paint colors because that would not produce <laughs> a white color. All right, so let's create a new variable called running and set it to be true. And then while, while running, Okay, so we're gonna have a while loop here. Screen.fill with black, okay? So that's going to fill this screen that we created here, right, with black. So it's gonna fill the screen with the values in this tuple, so zero, zero, zero. Okay, and then we're gonna do a pygame.gfxdraw.pixel, right, with our screen, screen width divided by two, integer divided by two, screen height, integer divided by two, and then white. So next we're going to check for this event called pygame.quit. Um, the way we do that is we do for event in pygame.event dot get and then we say if event dot type equals pygame dot quit running equals false okay so this is going to check every loop to see if there's been a new event happen in uh, in pygame and so if this event type is a person trying to quit, we want to set running to be false. And then that way, when we do this next iteration of the loop, running will be false and we'll exit the program. And we'll exit this infinite loop, right? And then finally, the last thing we need to do is we need to pygame.display.flip. Okay? And so this pygame.display.flip takes the, everything we've written to the screen and puts it onto our display, right? So there's the screen variable and then there's the display. And so this flips the screen, everything that we've drawn into it this time and puts it onto the visual screen. So let's save this and let's try running it and see if we can get a, a little bit more information about it, right? Python 3, first program.py. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's definitely one white pixel right there. Uh, hopefully it shows up on your screen. Um, we can also very quickly change the fill to be white, right? And then change the pixel to be black. So let's save that, try running it again. And now, for me, it's much more difficult to see, but there is, yes, 
one black pixel right in the center. All right, let's change it back. Oh, too much. Okay. So now we have a single pixel drawn right in the center of the screen. Let's draw a straight line right across the center of the screen. So let's let's run the program and let's think about it. So I want to draw a straight line right here, horizontal line going from right here all the way through to right here. Oh. So this axis axis right here is called the x axis and this axis right here is the y axis. So I want the x axis to go from 0 which starts over here, right? This is the 0 on the x axis all the way over to the maximum value. So this would be the screen width. So let's create a loop and draw from 0 to the screen width. So the way we do that is with a for loop. So for i in range screen width and remember range starts with 0. So let's take this, let's let's move this line into our loop. And so for the x axis, it's the very first variable passed. So it would just be here and we can delete that and replace it with i, right? And so i is going to go from 0, draw with 0, and then 1, 2, all the way across for the whole screen. Let's save it, try running it again. All right, now we can definitely see that, or at least I can. <laughs> now there's definitely a single line going all the way across through the center of our program. Um, if we wanted to make a vertical line, how would that work? Um, we can do another for loop, right? For i in range screen height, right? We can do the exact same thing, pi game dot gfx draw dot pixel screen screen with divided by 2. Again, this is integer division here, right? You can't have a 0.5 pixel. It's always got to be an even number. And then we do i, and then we do white. If we save that, we run it again. You can see, there we go. We have a straight up and down, and then a um, And then we have a horizontal line, so a vertical and a horizontal line, right? And so this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis. So next thing, how would we draw a diagonal line, right? Starting from here and going all the way over to here. Think about the, the values we have. We have 0, 0 here, right? This is going to be 0 and the maximum of y. This is going to be the maximum of x and the maximum of y. And so this would be the, the um, maximum x and the 0 y. So we're going from 0, 0 to the maximum and the maximum. Um, how do we do that? Well, since we have a square display, we can do for i in range screen height, right? Pi game dot gfx draw dot pixel screen i and i, right? And then let's pass it the white still. We save that, right? And we run it again. Boom. We have another diagonal. All right. How do we go from here to here? Let's think about it. We start from, this is again, the 0x, right? Because you're, you're all the way at the left. And then this is the maximum y. And we go from the maximum y down to the 0 with y while we count up on our x. So this one could be a little bit tricky and it's kind of one you kind of might have to think about for a while. 
Uh, if you want, you can try to f think it through and pause the video now. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to go through and implement a solution for going from the maximum y to a zero y. And you can do this with the same sort of one loop that we have here. So let's try that now. So for i in range screen width. And again, we're going to assume that we have a square screen for now, OK? Um, Pi game dot gfx draw dot pixel. And remember, we're drawing straight line for the for the x, right? So x stays the same. And then for y, we can do screen height minus i and then white. All right, save that. Let's try running it again. All right, so there we go. We went from the maximum value of y to the zeroth value of y, and we did it using that um, subtraction here. So we subtract by i in order to get that flipped axis. So the final thing that I had here um, in the chapter is this little challenge that I created. So let me pull up the challenge. and. Here it is. So the challenge is, can you make these new lines here, right? We have these vertical lines making another square on top of this. Um, so you're going to have to change the position where these vertical lines are and these horizontal lines are. Um, so this is just another two or three, maybe four, four loops, and should be easy enough for you to get. So thank you for watching this. If you enjoyed this, please sign up for my mailing list or get my book, Make Art with Python. Everything is available at makeartwithpython.com. And you can get uh, free access to the first three chapters if you just sign up as a user at my site. Thank you.